Hi, today we are going to see about fuel wood crisis. Crisis, 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 everywhere there is crisis. And this fuel wood crisis actually strikes the rural areas the most. Because if you see, there are about 2 billion people who are dependent on wood as their fuel in rural India. Where do you get this wood from? From the trees. Okay. So that is where this crisis lies. But before going into the crisis, let us see the advantages of using wood as fuel. The first reason is that it is easily available. Anywhere and everywhere it is easily available. And anyone can, can be harvested by anyone. Meaning it can be cut down and taken over by anyone. And it is completely combustible. When you take the dry wood, it completely burns up. And it also gives a lot of heat. In physics, we learn it as the calorific value of heat. So this has a high calorific value, so it gives a lot of heat. Okay. And then that's enough. So these are the advantages of using wood as fuel. Next, we go on to the causes of fuel or wood fuel crisis. What could be the causes? As we all know, there is an increase in population. If population increases, the demand is automatically more. more demand for fuel and one more reason why this is having a crisis is because all other fuels are expensive whereas compared to so everyone opts for whoever can't afford for higher fuels better fuels they will automatically go in for only this wood fuel so that is another reason for this and then there is also increased demand commercially too in industries. Okay, so because major thing is because of the population increase there is more demand and because of that there is a crisis. This uh, this is the main thing about this uh, fuel wood. When rural women use this, they where do they use it? They use it as firewood in fire stoves or chulas. Sometimes they are they will not have, have nothing, but they will just have three stones. You would have seen three big stones and firewood just inserted and the vessel that the cooking vessel or utensil would be on the top. Now invariably if it is a normal day they would have it outside but invariably they would have it inside the house and there is smoke everywhere and that is how their health is affected. And how was, how is the health affected? There are many ways in which it is affected. An ordinary a normal housewife would be inhaling something called benzopyrin. If the wood is not properly burnt, incomplete burning will result in benzopyrin and uh, that would be equivalent to actually 20 packets of cigarettes. Can you imagine this? 20 packets of cigarettes per day. So this is the extent of 
chemical inhalation that happens here. Not only really that, when there is a lot of smoke and it's not properly burning, they could also inhale about 40 milligrams of carbon monoxide. This carbon monoxide can be very dangerous. It's a poisonous gas. And this carbon monoxide for 1 kg of wood. So every 1 kilogram of wood can emit, if it is not burnt properly, and you can see smoke everywhere, then it would be giving you 40 milligrams of carbon monoxide. <clears throat> now this can affect because this is a competitor of oxygen. So they have breathing difficulties, breathlessness, all this comes because of carbon monoxide. Then there is also health issues, their lungs are affected and they result in asthma and respiratory problems. Constant inhalation of all the smoke results in asthma and respiratory problems. Besides this, when you keep blowing in air and making it work in a good way, they also result in irritation and redness of eyes. So, these are the health hazards that the rural women face because of this. However, now it is all slowly overcome and we have smokeless chulas coming up. Now let's go to the impact on the environment. As we cut down trees, See, when the demand is more, more and more trees are cut down for firewood and then this results in soil erosion. Trees are gone and then the soil is lost. Okay, that's the first one. Next, when you start burning something, burning of wood. Now, wood contains carbon. Wood is nothing but carbon. Now, carbon plus oxygen is giving you carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Okay, now when this increases, that will result in global warming. So when the amount of carbon dioxide released increases, it results in global warming. Not only that, there is also another thing that this burning can also release oxides of nitrogen and sulfur. And when these two are released, it gives rise to acid rain. Okay, so these are the two things. Deforestation and also burning of wood gives you global warming and acid rain. The last point is, see when you cut down trees, what happens? There is no trees, there are no trees then there is no rainfall and if there is no rainfall the temperature increases so these are the impact on environment if we need to go to alternatives to fuel wood the first thing that we can use is our solar energy so we could have solar cookers Okay. The next one that is usually opted in the villages is biogas, which is much cheaper and we make use of the cow dung and other things so that we can get biogas and it's a good fuel that is combustible and we can make use of it instead of fuel. The last one that we can use is the mm, smokeless chulas. Nowadays, along with the Nabad Bank, they have introduced some projects in rural India where they have provided, they provide the women with smokeless chulas. So this prevents the smoke and it improves their health and they could pay for these chulas 
in installments very easily payable and they own it for themselves and there is a demo class that is shown there and that happens and because of all this women prefer smokeless chulas nowadays no benzopyrene inhalation no carbon monoxide and they are also happy and lesser amount of wood but gives more amount of heat